In a world filled with stress and pressure, it's not unusual for us to have aches and pains and even to get sick. Going to the doctor for a checkup is always a good idea, but sometimes doctors don't even have the answer. I'm Stephanie Erickson, and this is Wellness Wednesday. Maybe our physical pain is just a manifestation of emotional pain or psychological pain or even a spiritual conflict. And most of us have grown up in a society where we turn to medicine for the answers. That's just a natural reflex. Many turn to alternative ways to address their overall health and well-being. And Reiki, which originated in Japan, is one of those ways. Rei means universal life. Ki means energy. Reiki is a relaxation technique and it uses the body's natural energies and some people know this energy as chi. The Reiki practitioner transfers positive energy to the client and this energy is used to help release stuck energy in the body. So Reiki activates the parasympathetic nervous system and it's a system that helps the body and the mind relax. And when the body and the mind is relaxed, that's when healing can occur. And this is when a client can generate their own self-healing. Here are some tips how to best use Reiki. Number one, have you thought about all of the ways that you've tried to manage your stress and pain in the past? Is it working? If not, are you open to trying something new? Two, ask your friends and families for a recommendation for a certified Reiki professional. Some insurances even cover it. Number three, just be open. Embrace the newness of this non-traditional intervention and it will help to increase its effectiveness. In Montreal, I'm Stephanie Erickson for Breakfast Television.